Anyway, we got Dishonest Mom and Vacuum Tech. Yeah, we have Dishonest Mom and Vacuum Tech. Now, both of these characters, uh, obviously, their game plan is to kind of keep each other out, but they do it in different ways. Yeah, I feel like, uh, I don't know if I want to say, like, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, Richter High kind of has, like, maybe, uh, a little bit more advantage because, uh, the longer range, the whip, and, you know, like, all of the fires that kind of, like, just destroy pellets. And I don't yeah. know how uh, um, holy water does against a flame shield. But. I would I would have to say in this situation here, it's definitely advantageous for dishonest bomb if he uh, you know just keeps a uh, good distance, does retreating bear, retreating you know run run back F kill, retreating bear, and then throws the projectiles because Mega Man uh, as like. Kind of, kind of mix upable as his recovery is. Yeah. He still kind of has to just go straight up, all things considered. So like, you can kind of guess where he's at. Yeah, and then like when it comes to like kill time, or when someone like trying to get his kills when characters are over like percents like that, you know, Richter doesn't really have to commit as hard as like a Mega Man would, you know, trying to like even get an aerial or trying yeah. to like, get a smash attack. Mega Man to get a kill, he has to get back in, or he has to get forward in. Yeah. He has to get, you know, He has to get closer than Richter would. Yeah. And I feel like that's kind of like what makes this match up a little bit more, is that Richter doesn't have to get as close as Mega Man does. Now the thing that I think uh, Mega Man would necessarily need to do in this matchup is uh, kind of contrary to how Mega Man plays in a lot of other matchups, Mega Man needs to kind of stay in. Yeah. So Mega Man needs to keep using pellet, keep staying in pellet range, uh, keep staying in range where he can get grabs, where he can do fair, and if he gets him off stage, he needs to really go after that tether. Yeah. Because uh, if he can knock him away from the tether, that's also out of up range. And that's, you know, a dead Delmon. Exactly. Oh, wow. He's got to yeah, he, be careful where he uh, wants to push that If he saw, thing. he was trying to land with down air. Yeah. And so he just kind of put himself right in the path of that axe. But, okay. He landed and uh, got an up tilt out. So he got a kill, but being perfectly honest, I don't know if you can replicate that situation on every shot. Oh, holy water, F smash. You gotta watch what you're doing off the ledge. Because a lot of the times you get kind of caught up in it and you're like, I gotta get off this ledge right now because I gotta go hit the man. Yeah, exactly. You gotta, but, you say, like what Shota was actually talking about earlier, of like, Richter throws holy water, you just gotta time your get up, like, in inappropriate times where you still got invincibility, so where you won't get hit by like S smash or holy water at all, and then you can punish. Like, yeah. You're pretty sure, like, the distance that Richter wants to be at after he throws uh, S match, you can, with with the invincibility that you might have, you can punch him if you run up close enough. You'll probably get like a grab, and like at least like that's good enough for something. But like with this kind of matchup, uh, I mean like that's actually all Mega Man would be able to do, like the timing, like the way he gets up off ledge to try and punish, is run in and try and grab him. Yeah, because like pellets aren't really gonna do too much. You know? Pellets do hit cross back. They do, and that's actually very good in this match. Like, I feel like that's a really strong uh, tool. But they don't hit anything, any whip-related attacks. Yeah, they don't nullify the whip. They don't, you know. I don't know if they beat that. Definitely don't be holy. Yeah. Speaking of axe and stuff, like that's actually the second time that I've seen that you take double jump up to ledge and get hit by axe. He needs to start air dodging. Ooh. He got hit by the bottle. So he was at a close enough range where he got hit by the bottle and then, then it broke with the holy water. Yeah, at times like that you gotta be aware to where you can probably just grab the bottle. Oh, well I mean at times like that, I mean there's just kind of unfortunate. Ooh! Yeah, charging a forward smash with the ledge is tempting as it is sometimes. Especially like at the distance that he was at where he was kind of just in like get up attack distance. Yeah, you have really to remember get up attack is invincible. Yeah. Like all the way. Completely. Every single one of them in the game. Oh, he had no jump on yeah, that too because he tried to jump out and he got hit by the holy water and then the forward smash. 
Uh oh. So I don't know how familiar back in tech is with Vector. So I would say if he wants to improve in the future regarding kind of kind of this matchup, this scenario with Mega Man in general, it's uh, adapting your gameplay to characters that don't let you play, uh, that force you to play in a different game. Because obviously the way that Mega Man or Back in Tech would usually like to play Mega Man is very clearly not going to work against Richter. No. Because of the way that Richter works mechanically, he has to adapt his game plan and he has to change it. Yeah. So you have to be conscious of... It, it is pretty hard. And obviously this game has a ludicrous amount of matchups. So you do have to... There's a lot of homework you have to do. But it does help to make yourself at least somewhat familiar with kind of the general tool set. Yeah, exactly. Of a lot of characters, especially characters that are kind of like weird, you know, scenarios that they sort of counteract your chosen game plan, like Richter and Mega Man. Exactly. Where you have to play a totally different way than you normally would. You have to kind of make yourself aware of those specific scenarios and adapt to overcome. Or you pick a different character. That option <laughs> is always available to you. And it's weird because like Vacuum Tech actually when we just got finished playing, he didn't he did not play Mega Man on me. He okay. actually played Young Link and Roy. See I think either of those would have been a better option. Yes, definitely. Especially more Roy because, you know, getting in as close as you want to Ricker yeah, makes right. him very, very, very uncomfortable. And you can, you know and Young Link you could really get some you can kind of counteract. You can kind of play yeah. it th at ranges that Richter does. Yes. You can play at those same ranges without being overwhelmed. So, yeah, maybe Vacuum Tech just didn't feel comfortable enough with his other characters. But Probably not. Yeah. Right. Give me a water. Uh, yeah.